welcome to the continuing adventures of Denver Spring and Suspension. Last time, we found our terrific technicians tearing down the trunnions on a Volvo auto car. Now, we catch up with them as they begin installing the new parts needed to put this vehicle back on the road. With the new bolster springs being installed, this truck will be able to drive down the road without giving its driver any back problems. Now we see the technicians installing the bushings and seals. It's a two-man job to install the springs and the trunnion. Now all that's left is to put the other side of the nylon bushings in, install the thrust washer, and make sure everything is nice and snug. Here, we're installing the lock ring to make sure everything stays in place. Now it's time to put the new trunnion cap on. Don't forget to replace the gaskets with the new ones. With the new bolster springs in place, our technicians reconnect the tapered leaf springs. This takes some finesse. Oftentimes, the strategic use of four jacks and the porta power is needed to line everything up. Maneuvering components that are hundreds, if not thousands, of pounds into their proper positions takes patience and precision. Now, it's time to button this bad boy up. While this truck is meant to do some heavy moving, it can now do so with a little bit more ease with the new bolster springs installed and the trunnion repair. Watch out boys, here comes the boss. Looks like she needs to discuss some of the finer points of running a business. Make sure you dot your I's and cross your T's. Don't forget that grease. Without checking on a regular basis, you could be running into serious and expensive problems down the line. Now that everything is back to work in order, this truck is ready to be put back into service. 